Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and today we're taking a look at this little girl here. She's got an injured leg, and she just was kind of falling behind the other pigs. They kept pushing her out when it was feeding time, or she couldn't get there in time. Anyhow, so went ahead and pulled her and stuck her in this pen, and are giving her some extra milk and feed, just trying to give her a boost. And she already looks much better. We pulled her last night, and her belly was all sunk in. And you can see here, she's not sunk in like she was. And it looks like it's going in one end and right out the other. Anyhow, she's doing much, much better. I'll probably keep her in here for a few days, make sure she gets a good boost. And then, well, actually I'll probably let her out of this cage and just keep her in this big pen while all these other pigs are getting chow time. Anyhow, I'll probably let her out of this crate and keep her, but keep her locked in this pen. Just keep her separate and continue to give her some extra feed to help give her a boost. All right, you can see all the little pigs are here eating. They're getting used to the pig food. We've got that one little one over there on the far side. It's got an injured leg. Not doing as well as the rest. It's got an injured eye too, actually. But we had caught it last night and put it in the little pig cage, but the little booger climbed out. I guess he didn't want to stay in there. We got the mamas down there eating, and all these guys up here eating, and then it's all spread food around on the ground here for them. But then I'll also put some down in that pig pin that I showed you previously or the piglet pin I got it the fenced off to where the big mamas can't get in there and only these little guys can get in there that way they can get in there and eat without having to fight with the big pigs and then also it's a way of being able to catch them they go down in that pin and then they can close it off and be able to catch them and you can see here these bigger pigs, they're all doing really good. They were just castrated. The males, the three males were castrated two days ago, and it didn't slow them down one bit. They didn't like it at the, in the moment, but they no worse for the wear now. You can see right there was one. I mean, just a tiny bit of swelling. There's another one right there. Tiny bit of swelling, not much, and... No bleeding, anything. They're healing up really good, and it hasn't slowed them down one bit. They're just ripping around, just like the rest of the little pigs. And they'll be ready to go, not this weekend, but the following weekend, they, these guys will be ready to go. They'll be seven weeks. Yeah, they'll be six weeks this weekend, so... By the following weekend, seven weeks, they'll be ready to go. I mean, they're plenty big enough. They're eating food. So besides us two, we've got two with injured legs that are a little bit puny. And I've got the other one over there in the cage feeding it some milk and and food just to give it a chance because I, I don't know that it was going to make it without some help. But all the rest of them are doing really good. Funny little pigs, curious. We've got 21 piglets running around everywhere. Three big mamas. Everybody's staying healthy. Mm -hmm.